morning and welcome to the next video so today's saturday and usually on the weekends i'm taking you out and about in london however this weekend i i'm a bit tired i've been on my period the last week and it was quite painful one so i literally finishing today so i don't really feel like go to central and deal with people so we're gonna have just really chilled weekend um just having my coffee and then we'll have my oh, i don't want to spill the coffee i have my two eggs as a breakfast i will then get dressed and probably go to muswell hill to get a coffee to do my steps and just kind of check what is that there's a few charity shops and yeah just gonna have a very chilled day not really planning much because i need to then finish a podcast for next week so yeah just gonna have a nice afternoon out and about and evening gonna do a bit of editing and you probably noticed my hair are dark so i actually dyed them yesterday uh just to let you know this color is supposed to be a light brown i left it only for 10 minutes instead of 20 and turn out with almost black hair but it's semi-permanent color so hopefully it's gonna fade out but yeah so finally i'm ready to go my outfit all black no makeup i just glue my eyebrows put the sunscreen on and did my mascara as you can see all black and my bright orange trainers so let's go So as you saw, I've been out and about in Maswell Hill. Honestly, I am shocked. So first of all, way too many people, which I was like, okay, this Saturday, I kind of get in, right? People are out and about. But then I went to a couple charity shops. I don't think I took any video or any picture because I was genuinely shook. It was way too many fucking people in there. So that was the first, right? And the prices, like, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, they say Masvahe is a bit posh, you know, because rich people live there, da, da. But Primark things, like Primark clothes, going from 8 to 15 pounds in charity shop that have been used. That is absolutely bizarre. So I literally just went through a couple of those uh, charity shops that are there. None of them, literally nothing caught my eye because I just start a little bit, you know, checking what they have and then I saw the prices and I was like, right, no thank you. Like, I would really love to be more sustainable. I would really love to, you know, get things secondhand. But for the quality and for the price, it's not worth it. So I'd rather gonna wait and save my favorite things in H&M app and then wait when they come on sale because majority of my clothes which i'm getting is under 10 pounds so and it's a brand new one and i know exactly like what i'm kind of getting and i can return it if i don't like it do you know what i mean when like when you're in charity shops you usually have no chance to try stuff on so you just buy it and then hope for the best so it would be just a waste of time and money so yeah i don't know if if you live in different parts of london yeah if the charity shop game is like stronger it's much better i don't know but in like muswell hill finchley area golders green area it's not worth it anymore it used to be really good but yeah recently i've been in a few and today i've been in like three or four shops and i was just like wow so 
it is what it is but i did a little bit of damage so i went to boots i went to my favorite bookstore actually and i went to holland and barrett and sainsbury so i'm gonna show you what i got because why not right so this is my bag i'm using always my reusable one this one i think it's from Superdrug or something but let's start it's gonna be just random right so for dinner i got a pack of rice because i'm lazy to cook my own rice just for today then i got sesame oil because i love to put it in my rice or when i do my uh, soup then i got golden syrup because i start making a chia pudding again and i don't have honey and when i saw the price of honey i was like let me get this i think this was like one pound 30 or something like that when honey was like three quid so obviously went for that and then i got this uh be good to yourself dressing for dinner because i want to just put this a bit with my boring turkey rice and veg so i was saying spurries uh what else yeah i went to the bookstore so if you are in muswell hill there's a really tiny, it's not B.H. Smith, it's like a really tiny, really pretty, I think you saw a couple of clips, um, bookshop. And I'm always going there and I find like gems. So this bookshop is really good because they have selection of books for like £5. I don't really like to spend a lot of money on books. So I usually do my Kindle, which I adore. I read a lot through Kindle because when I go into work or whenever I'm traveling, I can just read and it's great however when i'm back home and i'm home now quite often i don't like to read from kindle it's just um, it's just annoying i don't know why i uh, like i love kindle when i'm out and about or the kindle app in my phone but when i'm at home i found it a bit annoying so i got two books so the first one i went kind of with the classics because i read them in czech and i'm kind of interested to kind of read it in english i do that with movies i do that uh, even with books like what I read before in Czech now and try to read in English because finally I can understand right so I got the first George Orwell uh, 1984 for five pounds I know it's like thick book so I'm very pleased about that and the second one I got uh, Lolita 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 I don't know how to pronounce it properly in English but I love that movie I loved the book when I read it for my uh, Czech exams when I was in college and I just want to I just want to read it now in English as well and that was also five pounds so very pleased and also because I'm going on a trip I think it will be quite nice to read it in a plane and also if I have a spare minute maybe by Han River who knows so I got these two books um what else what else oh then I went to Holland and Barrett because they recently started their own brand kombuchas so these ones are my favorite I think I prefer this one which is glow which has uh, ginseng vitamin c life cultures and the flavor is apple cucumber and mint really refreshing when it's cold love that and then the other one is energy and this one is mango and yuzu flavor and this one is with ashwagandha, I don't know if I pronounce that correctly, uh, vitamin B12 and life cultures. So these are currently my obsession. So I love these two kombuchas. And honestly, I think this one is kind of the best tasting flavors on the market. Like I tried all different brands. Like my favorite one is the, I think it's a health aid from America. And so that is like top-notch uh, kombucha adore it but you can't get it here in uk unfortunately and lastly as i said i went to boots so i just need to stock up on a few bits um before my trip so i got like ibuprofen and then i got a toothpaste i've got a new hairband because i only have like the blonde color but obviously with my dark hair now i would prefer black ones so i got these ones i think they are like a pound uh i got these micellar water from boots i really enjoyed this one for just taking my eye makeup i don't really use it for face because my face is very sensitive and get really easily red so this is literally just for removing my eye makeup and then i got a uh, dental floss 
because I needed one. So that was it. Luckily in boots I didn't pay anything. I think it came to like nine pounds and five P, but I had some points on my card to spend, so that was that. Ten in a I spent ten in a bookshop, three pounds for the kombuchas because one fifty is now an offer on it. I think normally one is one eighty and it was one fifty today and probably like six pounds I spent in Sainsbury's so not really expensive which I'm quite happy about and yeah that's all from my haul and I'm back because I realized I want to talk to you guys about a few changes that I did in the last couple of weeks which really helped me kind of like mentally and feel better so I just want to kind of share it with you. So, you know, I mentioned a couple of weeks back that I felt really down, didn't feel really good. And I was like, you know what, I need to sort it out. I don't really like these like negative thoughts and being kind of in like, you know, horrible mood. So I kind of decided to just rethink everything and start from scratch. So the first uh, kind of step what I did was rethinking what I'm eating. Because I realized even though I've been eating healthy, but you know, with my stomach conditions, stomach issues, it didn't really serve me that well anymore. So I stripped my diet, went literally to the basics, nothing too crazy, eating just clean, healthy food. And I have to say, that's improved my mood a lot. Just to like, you know, eating healthy whole foods, like, you know, really snacking. And if I'm snacking, like I'm back into like having nuts and having dark chocolate. And it just makes me, it just makes me happy. And the second thing I did was kind of clearing my social media, like unfollow any account or person that was kind of triggering the whole, like kind of, I'm not good enough, comparing myself, I'm not really getting anything beneficial so clear that out again like it makes me feel great i love the clearing stuff right um then i start following a few more accounts which actually brings me joy so more accounts that just kind of show you videos from south korea or about coffee or about you know just live a life in different cities so i think i follow someone from japan someone from america someone from seoul um and these things just makes me happy right uh other thing is i started posting uh more on instagram i'm trying to now do the tiktok again i said i'm not gonna be focusing on it but i was like you know what i can do two tiktoks a week because it just makes me happy again i can be really depressed with like my first video after a long time that I posted good like 60 likes and was kind of successful obviously it's not a much right but then the one which I kind of put a bit more effort and a bit more um a thought got five likes and I'm be like you know what I don't really care I'm just putting it out it makes me happy I like to look at it back and I'm like oh you know it was a good time and yeah just like kind of switching up your mindset does a lot and it does makes me feel much more happier and that goes to the third and final kind of change and I decided I will just be romanticizing my life like if I see something cute I'm gonna take a video or I'm gonna take a picture if something makes me happy I'm just gonna post about it or etc and I will try to find um beauty and happiness in small things so for example like buying myself a flowers on Sunday I used to do it like probably maybe like a year back that every Sunday I got myself a flowers, got myself like a tulips or whatever, like the cheapest one that you can get from supermarket because I was like, I don't really see point to buy myself a massive bouquet. And then I literally stopped buying them and I don't really know why. It was just something which I really enjoyed and then stopped. And now since I started it again, again, like just looking at my desk where I'm working and I'm sitting majority of my day and seeing these like, I'm gonna show you. Like seeing this just makes me happy. Also, these ones are from Aldi. Got them on Sunday. Yes, the leaves are getting a bit like yellowish, but they are still beautiful. So I'm very pleased about that. And then the same, like I start again making the effort of making myself the morning coffee at home. So when I started working, I'm having my coffee, I'm having it kind of in peace, you know, I'm enjoying my coffee, I'm reading through my emails. 
and again it's just a nice way to start the day and now because the weather is getting better and better i think i'm gonna do again the morning walks before work because at the moment i'm not really feeling go back to gym i haven't been in gym for like two weeks maybe three weeks now actually and i don't feel guilty which it's it's good but it's just i didn't like the vibes right so when I started going to gym back in January, I've been there almost every single day. I really enjoyed it because there was not many people. Recently, when I was going to gym, I was like, there's lots of people already. Uh, the gym is messy as fuck. And I felt literally like I've been watched. And sometimes I've been approached by guys. And I'm like, bitch, it's fucking 6 a.m. in the morning. Don't fucking talk to me. Like, I had just I dry scoop a pre-workout. I'm here to do my business and go home to eat breakfast like I woke up 4 30 in the morning don't you even fucking try right and I don't want to sound like you know kind of like big headed little guys approaching me in a gym no like the thing is I cannot care less and you know from the beginning like the first two months of the year when like kind of nobody knew me and nobody was really paying attention but then like more you start going you be, people being just like oh how are you doing again like oh good to see you da, da, da. and i'm like bitch i'm not here for small talks okay i'm here to work out to do my business and bye bye i'm not here to make friends but yeah this is a different topic but so yes yeah, so i don't feel like any time coming back to to gym so i think i'm gonna start my morning walks and then maybe maybe during the lunch break i will go for a quick like lift session or something because i will have hour and i can easily do that but yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see it's still kind of open but yeah kind of me rom romanticizing my life and doing stuff that and that i enjoy and not really putting the pressure on me it really change the way how i'm feeling and after a long time again i'm feeling happy and i feel satisfied with my life so it's nice it's nice and then now i have a week before i go to korea so i'm gonna have two incredible weeks just exploring a new city and trying new foods and i book a couple a uh, couple things like i'm going to exhibition i'm going to uh watch a play um to different attractions dmz zone and all that stuff so i can't wait also i've booked a pub crawl with the strangers so very out of my comfort zone i used to do this all the time but now i'm a bit like right socializing with people but luckily alcohol is involved so i think i will be fine and i'm thinking also like we'll see how the pub crowd goes because i found like you can go with strangers for korean barbecue and drinking as well you know for like two hours and stuff because lots of places unfortunately in south korea don't do a uh, barbecue only for one person so you should need to have plus one at least so yeah we'll see we'll see i'm excited so yeah i think this video is getting out super long i didn't expect it to go this way but why not it's sunday i just got back from aldi and i don't really understand the pricing because i'm literally buying every single week the same items same food literally same brand whatever and last week i spent 29 pounds with buying um cleaning products this week i paid 33 and i didn't buy any clean products or anything only thing that i kind of bought extra was these flowers but last time i bought a tulips so i don't really understand what's happening so yeah aldi is not as cheap as it used to be so i got this high protein lemon mousse i love the chocolate one from aldi this one i was like do you know what it's still like low fat lactose and gluten free which is perfect because i can't really do dairy honestly this is fucking vile i love lemon i'm obsessed with lemon anything lemon flavored i usually absolutely adore this disgusting so i have just finished my soul itinerary i had all the addresses etc i still have a few days which are kind of half full 
for some suggestions for my day trip, etc. But I think we are kind of there. And this is all the food, all the, all the food that I want to eat. And this is how the tax refund works. And now I will be cooking my meal prep. It's 5.30 almost, so I need to cook for the week. Then I will be just relaxing, probably reading book. And that will be end to my uh, very slow and chilled weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. As always, if you're new here, please subscribe. And I'll see you next Monday. Bye!